Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Revelation chapter 19 where John described a great victory party in the heavens when Babylon was destroyed and where Jesus destroyed the Antichrist's armies with a breath from his mouth. After the great fiery death of Babylon, John recorded a great roar in heaven of everyone cheering. Everyone there was saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and power belong to our God. True and just are his judgments. He has avenged the blood of his servants and has destroyed the prostitute. Hallelujah, the smoke from her goes up forever. The 24 elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshiped God. Then John said a voice came from the throne and God said, Delight yourselves in me, all my servants. Be glad and rejoice. After God said this, every being in heaven worshiped. John said the sound was like mighty peals of thunder or like mighty roars of massive rushing waters. All beings in heaven said in unison, Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come and his wife hath made herself ready. John was so shell-shocked at what he just saw that he fell down at the angel's feet to worship. He didn't know what else to do. The angel got very, very angry with John and said, you never worship me again. I am a fellow servant with you and your brothers and sisters who hold to the testimony of Jesus. You only worship God. It is the Holy Spirit that bears testimony to Jesus. John got up and apologized. He was ashamed at what he had just done. The angel said, John, write this down, right? Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. These are the true words of God. So John wrote it down. John then looked and saw something else. He saw heaven standing open and saw a massive white horse. Jesus was riding on this horse. John described what he saw briefly. He said the rider on the horse had numerous names. John didn't understand one of the names written on him, but the other names were faithful, true, the word of God. His eyes were like blazing fire and he had many crowns on his head. He was wearing a robe soaked in blood. A sharp sword was coming out of his mouth. On his robe and on his thigh were written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. With justice he judges and wages war. And the armies of heaven were following him, riding on white horses and dressed in pure white linen. And John saw an angel standing inside of the sun. The angel yelled instructions to all the birds of the earth. He said, come gather together for the great supper of God. He is going to feed you the flesh of kings, generals, and the mighty warriors, and all of their servants. So all the birds flew to where the world's armies were congregating to fight against Jesus. Jesus went down and stood in front of the billions of warriors who wanted to fight against him. Jesus whispered and gave a command to the archangels to capture the beast and the false prophet. Without much effort, they were captured. They bowed before Jesus, unable to stand. They said, Jesus is Lord. Then Jesus ordered they be thrown into the lake of fire immediately. And it was done. The beast and the false prophet were the very first beings to be thrown into that newly created place of torment. Then Jesus drew his attention to the hordes of warriors surrounding him. They were in utter shock that the beast and the false prophet were so easily captured. But they weren't shocked for very long. John was unsure what words Jesus spoke, but when he spoke, all the soldiers and all the horses gathered for war literally melted. Their eyes fell out of their sockets and their skin slathered to the ground, and all of them perished. The birds were not disappointed at the feast God provided to them. The most important verses in this chapter are Revelation 19, 1 and 2, which state, And after these things I heard a great voice of much people in heaven, saying, Alleluia, 
salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments. For he hath judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that nobody or nothing can stand against the Lord. Jesus will permit the total destruction of Babylon for the crimes it committed against God's people. And Jesus himself will wipe out the armies of the world with only his breath. Why would anyone ever want to oppose him? You don't have to be an enemy of Jesus. He wants you to change sides and pledge allegiance to him. He will forgive you of all of your past crimes against him. Turn to him and live. He's a loving conqueror, and he will not repay you for your crimes if you surrender and turn from your rebellion. Repent for your sin and turn to Jesus for salvation before it's too late. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross to pay for your sin. The Father then raised him from the dead and exalted him to the highest place. Ask Jesus for mercy, forgiveness, and salvation. Hey, thanks for watching the Revelation chapter 19 episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe if you want to keep up with these daily videos too. See you next time.